you guys. Okay. Hold on. I got winded. <laughs> Sitting up. Okay, we're going to get that in. Uh, we're doing a similar workout like we did uh, pretty much starting Wednesday and then the rest of the week. So we're going to be doing um, a jump rope workout. So if you have a jump rope, grab one. If you don't, that's okay. I won't even be using one. I'll be using an invisible one. Um, and then we'll do an ab workout or ab workouts in between uh, the jump rope intervals. Okay, go ahead. Come to attention. Bell. No. Position. And yeah. shitty creeps. I develop myself physically and mentally based on the mind my karate spirit. I will only fight to protect my life and the lives of others. I achieve my fullest potential developing knowledge, honesty, and strength. And what's your goal? Black belt excellence, ma'am. Come to attention. Bow. Okay. Again, if you have a jump rope, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, that's fine. Xanders, do you need one? Do you have one? I won't be using one only because you're going to just hear a don't, don't, don't. It's going to be really obnoxious. Okay, we're going to go for third, or no, we're going for one minute because you guys are level two. We're going to go for one minute for the jump ropes and 30 seconds for the workouts in between. Okay, and go. You guys are halfway through. going to be in a push-up position. So you guys need to watch me real fast because I need to show you um, the front view and the side view of it. So the front view first, you guys are taking one knee. I'm going to explain it first. One knee is going opposite elbow and then to the side. So let me show you real fast. Okay, one foot first, opposite knee, and then don't set it down behind you and go immediately to your side. So it's, um, it's not touching the ground. Elbow, Side, then down. And then let me show you one to this side. Okay, one more time, guys, hold on. Okay, side, here, down. Side, here, down. So only sit it down once you're done with the both sides. You guys are going for 30 seconds and go. Good job, Jackson. And five, four, three, two, and time. Hey, okay, go ahead and stand up. Okay, that was our first ab workout done. Okay, go ahead and get your invisible jump rope out. And one minute, go. Keep bouncing. Twenty seconds left. Keep going, keep going. And five, 
four, three, two, time. Okay. Now, next ab workout, we're going to be doing reverse crunches. So I'll show you to the side real fast. You guys are going to put your ha uh, hands out at a 45 degree angle. You guys are going to kick straight out, then bend your knees to your chest, and then slightly roll back. Guys, don't have too much fun with it and fly all the way back. That's not what the point is. <laughs> yeah, you guys are kicking out and roll back. Out and back. Reverse crunches. Okay, and 30 seconds. Go. And then slightly roll back and make sure that uh, if you need to grab a pillow or a blanket or something that's not going to kill your back, that would be great <laughs> for you and for me. Ten seconds left. Now, control your feet, guys. Control your feet. And time. Okay, we have one last uh, jump rope for one minute, interval, whatever you would like to call it. And then we have our last ab workout, which I do have to warn you. I'm going to warn you now. The last ab workout will hurt. So try your best on that one. And one minute. Go. Oh, I'm like, I'm making that. Okay, one minute. Seconds left. Keep bouncing, keep bouncing. And time. Okay, the la the last ab workout. Uh, let me show you guys real fast. Okay, so you guys are going to have your feet straight up in the air. Now make sure that when we're doing stuff with our legs that we're not bending our knees in any way. You guys are going to have your legs out straight. You guys are going to reach towards your toes. And then you guys are going to open your body. Okay, reach and open. You guys are hovering over the floor when you guys are opening up your body just like this. Okay, we're not touching the floor. Again, it will... Wear you out pretty fast. <laughs> and 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. Go! Keep your legs as straight as possible the entire time. It's just up and down. Halfway through. And then Jackson, keep those legs together. They're going down to the floor, not out apart. So like this, down like this. There we go. Then up. Yes. And time. Good. Hopefully you felt that a little bit. <laughs> okay, you guys have 30 seconds for some water. When you get back, we will be stretching. Go. Okay, we're going to start stretching uh, from the floor first, so go ahead and get in your butterfly stretch. We're going to start off with the nice and trusted butterfly stretch with that, which everyone loves. Okay, now remember for your butterfly stretch that you're not just 
uh, sitting. I was just waiting for everyone. So you guys can either use your elbows to push your knees down or have your hands straight out in front of you and reaching. Either one works, but as long as you're stretching. We're gonna hold this for a few more seconds. Okay, go ahead and put your feet apart this time. You're gonna take opposite hand and touch your toes, not same, same guys, opposite, you're really reaching. We're going to be doing six per side, counting one, two, three, four. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, now reach towards the center. We're gonna hold for just a few seconds. Okay, now put one foot in, uh, in front. The other foot, you're gonna flip it back behind you. Um, by now, you guys should know that this is one of my favorite stretches. I love doing this. Okay, uh, go ahead and lean back. Now, you guys can always manipulate your body to get more of a stretch or less of a stretch if it hurts. Remember that. So in this case, you can manipulate it by moving your leg right here that's bent. Okay, go ahead and switch. And just lay back. Good, now you're gonna go ahead and take the knee that's already bent, you're gonna sit on it, take the other one, and sit on that one. We are now on our uh, shins. Okay, stretch out your arms. Okay, and take one, pull it, a few seconds, and switch. Ooh. Good, big circles back. Ow, that actually hurt. <laughs> and a few circles forward. Okay, now I'm going to go to the side so you can see everything that we're doing from right here. Okay, we're here. Ow. I have an anklet on. Okay, you guys are going to reach all the way down, uh, just like a cat or a dog would do. So make sure that you're lengthening your arms as much as possible. Good. And now since we were doing a lot of uh, jump rope and jumping, that's really, uh, it could be really stressful on your calves. And they, can, they definitely tense up. You guys are going to push up. And do a downward dog to stretch them out. So make sure that your heels are getting pushed down to the ground as much as possible. Uh, what I like to do is single one of them out. So you guys can take one foot, wrap it around, and just really focus on that one calf to stretch it. Uh, and switch. Just singling out that calf. Okay, now go ahead and put both down so they're equal in weight this time. Okay, now you guys are going to go into a push-up position from right here, and then drop your body into a cobra stretch. Cobra stretch is the uh, yoga terms. Seal stretch is the regular terms. <laughs> and if you guys would, uh, if you need more of a stretch, you can put your chin to the sky, or you can just breathe in. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I just breathe my chest in, like I take a real deep breath, I can feel it stretching on my abs. Good, now we're gonna go back into child's pose, so stretch out those arms. Good, and then back up to our knees. Okay, now from right here, you guys are going to get into um, a toe toucher stretch. So from right here, just lift up your body. Bam, you're stretching. We're stitching all the stretches together. Good, go ahead and roll up. Roll those shoulders back, roll them forward. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get started. So we are doing harang. We're going to go... 
Um, I'm going to explain the way we're doing it because it may seem a little bit weird. We're going to do uh, focus on only the, the first half. We're going to go move by move and then full speed the first half. Then we're going to uh, resume right at the halfway point. We're going to go uh, move by move through the second half and then full speed through the second half. And once we're done with both parts, we're going to combine them together and just keep drilling through uh, the form. So hopefully that will help. Um, it definitely helps me. Okay, prepare for harang. So move by move first. Aim. This is my right hand. Step out. Aya. Okay, backhand first. And then next backhand. So two punches. Chamber down. Shift with your right. Square block. Top hand chop. Aim. And punch. Okay, now right foot is going to step back. They are uh, meeting together. And do your press or your rainbow. Okay, aim and punch. Okay, now down block towards the front. Aim, punch. Uh, grab that hand, bring it all the way back. Aim and punch, or not punch, haha, <laughs> this is okay. Punch with your feet, guys. Land, chop, and punch, and punch. Aya! Uh, reset. Okay, now we're gonna go uh, full uh, whew, full speed through the part that we just did, so the first half. But therefore, for wrong, I must have poem. It's one of those things, guys. And go! Aya! Okay, now we're gonna pick up right from right here. We're gonna go. Ha uh, wow, I'm so sorry, guys. We're gonna go um, move by move through the second half now. So go ahead and chamber towards your right. Turn with your back leg and land pseudo. Now in the same direction. Step forward. Do your chop. We're in the front stance now. And pseudo towards the. I would say towards the front direction because you're facing back towards the front. And back leg round kick one, back leg round kick two, and land pseudo. Okay, now we're going away from the camera, so towards the back, chamber, turn, down block. Now this is right now, guys, this is left with left, left with left. Okay, now you guys are going to aim, shift your feet, and back punch. So your left foot should still be in front. We're going to do this one time, step forward, do it a second time, step forward, and third time. Okay, now you guys are uh, going to reshift your feet back into that front stance, left foot still in front, chamber down, you guys are doing your X block from right here, X block. Okay, take your back leg, you're going to take a huge step forward, twist your hips towards the front, and double elbow. Okay, right foot's gonna go all the way around, meet that foot. Round kick cover one, right hand's on top first, and switch. Now in the same direction of our block, do your pseudo, and pseudo to the other side, aya. Good, reset, go to the, <clears throat> the punch. So this is uh, right at the halfway point we did our Chop, punch, one, punch, two. Okay, and full speed, go! Uh, now make sure both knees are bent, uh, and reset. Okay, now like I said, I'm going to be, um, or we're going to be stitching the two parts together. So we're going to be going move by move through the whole entire thing now. Um, and then we're just going to be drilling it through over and over again, the entire thing, full speed. 
Okay, go ahead and prepare for a run. Whole entire thing now, but it's move by move. And aim, drop, aya. Punch, punch, square block, jump, aim, punch. Uh, one of my students called this uh, the high home from South Park, so you guys can do that. <laughs> Put your feet together. You aim, punch, and towards the front down block. Aim, punch, grab, aim, side kick, chop one, punch one, and punch two. Aya. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Chamber turn pseudo. Step forward, spear. Pseudo to the other side. Back leg ground kick one. Back leg ground kick two. And pseudo. Okay, towards the back. Down block. Aim. Shift. Punch. Step forward. Punch. Step forward. Punch. And then shift. Back. Double X. Now put that foot. Swing it around. Double elbow. Round kick cover one, two, pseudo, and pseudo aya. Good, reset. Okay, now we're just gonna be drilling through the entire form. Uh, no stopping, no boom by boom, just do it. Prepare for haram. And go. Aya. Good, and reset. <clears throat> okay, let's do it again. Prepare for uh, Haram. We're gonna do it two more times, so this uh, first time I'll do it with you, but then the last time that we're doing uh, Haram, I'll be watching you guys, and you'll be doing it without me. And go! Aya! Reset once you're done. Get in relaxed position. Okay, now I will be watching you guys. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay, it is your turn to perform it. I will be watching. People on Zoom, prepare for harang. And begin. Good, and reset. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna shift gears a little bit. Uh, Mr. Morris is gonna be taking over with 
the word of the month, talking about the fourth sentence today. If you guys missed it on Wednesday and Thursday, if you didn't, that's fine. You're just going to hear it again. So go ahead and take a knee, take a seat. Uh, if you can get closer to the camera, that's fine. Uh, and Mr. Morris is over. All right. So we are, yeah, we're on positive self-motivation with definite commitment. All right. So that is the word of the month for like another week. Uh, so, the fourth sentence says, motivation also comes from focusing on the long-term results desired, not the daily disappointments and struggles. So that means that if I am doing anything, if I want to achieve any kind of long-term goal, graduating high school, graduating college, getting my black belt, getting my second or third degree, whatever the long-term goal is for you guys, right? I can't focus on the daily disappointments and struggles. I can't focus on the times that I failed. I can't focus on the times that I don't want to go to karate. I can't focus on the times where uh, homework sucks. Because if I focus on those things, I'm never going to reach my goal. Or it's going to be a lot harder to reach my goal. Okay? So like Black Belt, for instance, you guys have all heard my story. I took four years longer than the average person to get my Black Belt. Right? I failed. I didn't want to go to karate. I gave up completely. The only reason why I'm standing here today is because my parents are like, nope, psh, get out there. All right. So that's what this is talking about. No matter how hard it gets, no matter the struggles, no matter the disappointments, no matter how bad it gets, never, ever, ever give up on yourself and never give up on each other as well because we're all we're all a big family here, right? So we take care of everyone. We hold everyone trying to keep us all together. Okay? So if you guys want to reach your goals, no matter what they are, you have to keep going no matter how bad it gets, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how challenging it gets. All right? Thank you, guys. I'm sorry. I know. Okay, guys, go ahead and stand up. We're going to go over American Taekwondo combinations now. So how we're going to do this is we're going to do uh, move by move on one side. And we're going to go regular speed or full speed on the other side. So um, let's try that out. Go ahead and set towards your left. I am. Okay. Um, wait one second. Okay. Uh, move by move of number five. Again, front leg always stays back. So go ahead, step back, bridge hand, hook kick, back fist, and bridge hand. I up. Then reset and turn. Okay, now I'm just going to say go and you're going to do it. Number five. Go. I up. Good. Turn. Okay, number six. Move by move. Back leg steps back. Round kick. Back fist. Back punch, ridge hand, and round kick. Then reset. Uh, turn. And number six. Go. I up. Uh, turn. Okay, number seven. Move by move. Ridge. Fade ridge. I'm sorry. Fade ridge. Hook kick. And punch. Uh, turn. Okay, and full speed. Go. I up. Uh, turn. Okay, number eight. Step back, side kick. Slide in, hook, round. Punch, punch. Front punch, back punch. Okay, turn. And number eight, regular speed. Go. I up. Uh, turn. Okay, now we're going to do it normal now. So we're going to do 5-5, uh, five, 6-6, five, six, six, and then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And we're here. And number 5. Go. Oh, yeah. uh, turn. And 5. Go. Oh, yeah. Good. Turn. And six, go. I up. Turn. And six, go. 
Ayo. Turn. And seven, go. Ayo. Turn. Seven, go. Ayo. Turn. And eight, go. Ayo. Turn. And eight, go. Ayo. Turn. Okay. Last time for a re 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 last time for a review, we're gonna do five, six, seven, eight, and then we're do we're gonna do a little drill. Um, again, drills are gonna be a little weird since we're at home, um, but I found a way to, to do it and keep you guys moving and doing combinations at the same time. Okay, right, and number five, go. Oh yeah. Turn and six, go. Ayo. Turn. And seven, go. Ayo. Turn. Okay, and last one, number eight. Go. Ayo. Okay, you guys have a quick 30 second water break before we start our drill. And go. There is a piece of hand. <clears throat> okay, let's get started with the drill. So now the drill is going to work. Uh, we are doing it five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. So make sure that you're paying attention. Keep your hands up. Don't get lazy on me. Um, we will be doing burpees in between each combination. So if you're here Wednesday or Thursday, or actually, if you were just here Thursday with me, then we did that. So every single time I say turn, you guys will be doing a burpee. So that means knees are tucked into your yes, Jackson, just like that. Your knees are getting tucked into your chest, and you're going down into a push-up position. You're not doing the push-up, but you are getting into the push-up position. So I will be watching you for this one because I really want to make sure that you know the combination um, because testing is supposed to be next week. So I, I do want you guys to know the combination. Hey, okay, go ahead and set towards your left. Aya, we are going to get started. Okay, and number five, go. Good, and then again, when I say turn, do your derp, do your derpy, your burpee, and go, or turn, sorry guys. Okay, now you're the other direction, and number five, go. Turn. Good. And number six. Go. Turn. Yep, burpee. Knees to your chest. Good. And six on this side. Go. Turn. Burpee. Okay, we're halfway through. We just have seven and eight. Okay, number seven, go. Turn. Yeah, don't forget that burpee. And seven, go. Turn. Good. We're on our last combination, guys, so push through. Number eight. Go. Side, hook round, punch, punch. Turn. I saw that, Sandy. <laughs> and, and number eight, last time. Go. Good. And then, hey, guess what? Last turn. Go. Do your burpee. Good. 
Okay, you guys finish it. Good job. Go ahead and get relaxation. Take a few deep breaths in. Make sure you guys are breathing during your workouts, guys. <laughs> okay, now we're going to quickly finish up with a drill that has to do with the weekly challenge. So you guys all know what the weekly challenge is by now. It is the bottle cap, bottle cap challenge. This is with a reverse hook kick. So we are going to be uh, practicing targeting first because that's the biggest thing. So we're going to be doing three hook kicks at three different levels, uh, one being your lowest and then three being your highest. This is just a quick drill to finish up class, but it also has to do with the weekly challenge. Go ahead and set towards the front. Aya. Again, your number three, your highest, is going to be different from my number three. A lot of students, I've seen this recently, they've been doing this to try to strain themselves to kick as high as I can. Stop doing that, <laughs> okay? Kick as high as you can. Make it look good still. Okay, and number one, go. And two. And three. Good, that is one. We're gonna do three per side. And one. Two. Three. Good, that's two. And go. One. Two. Three. That's three. Go ahead and switch your feet. And one, two, and three. One ma'am, and go. One, two, three, that's two. And one, two, three. And that's three. Okay, go ahead and switch your feet back to the original leg. Okay, now for the last thing we're gonna do Reverse hook kick, since that is the actual bottle kick. Bottle cap challenge is a reverse hook kick. So we're just gonna do three per side and then call it a day. And go ahead and do your first one. Turn one, two, three. I'm gonna switch my feet. Go ahead, once you're done, just switch and uh, keep going. One. Two, three. Good. Once you're done, take a seat or take a knee because I have a few announcements before um, class ends. Okay, so the first one I already kind of talked about, and you guys all know this by now. Uh, weekly challenge. It is now a week long, so that means the video is due today, either through sending it through email or Facebook, either one, um, or even text message if you prefer. So that weekly challenge is due today. Uh, so do your reverse hook kick on the little tiny bottle cap, and bam, that's the challenge. Okay, testing. So technically next week is supposed to be our testing for your next belt. That means there's two different ways to do that. You can either send in a video of you doing the form and the combinations. We'll watch you guys, you guys are good. We'll give you your, uh, you will receive your belt. Second option is going um, to be double testing. So just holding it off this cycle. You're still training, but you're going to wait till next cycle when we're back to actually double test to catch up to where you should be. So this is the two options, double testing or send in a video. Uh, the videos are preferably due by next Saturday. So you guys have uh, all next week to do that video because technically next week is supposed to be testing. Uh, but... Everything is sent out on that email, so keep looking at your email because um, that that text message about testing is on there. So if you guys have any questions, look on there. Now, uh, stripes, we're still doing stripes, so treat it like a normal testing cycle. If you guys have homework, turn it in through Google Classroom. You can uh, guys just go on uh, whatever that is. So if it's Book Club Card, go to Book Club Card. Press add attachment and then find. Thank you. Okay, uh, so you guys can go to the attachment uh, and then press, uh, obviously, add attachment. Go to find your photo and then uh, select the photo of the, the homework that you did and then just submit it that way. So get stripes that way as well as the weekly and daily challenges that we used to have. We're still keeping track of everyone who's turning those in. Uh, there's also the morning workout, Monday through Friday with Mr. Gold. That's only 30 minutes long, guys, 30 minutes out of your entire day. Um, if you guys missed it, though, you guys can always go back to previous ones or the one that you missed that day through YouTube. 
or through Google Classroom because they are all posted. All the links are posted on Google Classroom. Leadership, that's the same thing for leadership. It's at 1.30, but if you guys missed it with Mr. Morris at 1.30, uh, YouTube or uh, Google Classroom so you guys can keep on track with that. That's Monday through Thursday only, though. Um, other thing, this is our last new thing. There is private lessons. Make sure you guys are signing up for that, especially um, next week for, quote, testing week. Um, if you guys need help on the combinations or help on the forms, any one of us would happily get on for only, if, you know, 15 minutes. Just quickly go through uh, whatever you guys need help with. Now, that's Monday through Friday, 2 to 4. You guys can sign up anytime from 2 to 4 for those private lessons. Um, there... The Sign Up Genius is on our website, so you can sign up that way. Now, Zoom people, if you have any questions, I'm going to, uh, we're going to bow out, and then you can ask your questions if you have any. So go ahead, come to attention. Bow. Position. Hands behind your back. And black belt free. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I live my life by the principles of black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and double spirit, ma'am. Ladder proposition, ma'am. Mild high karate is the best, ma'am. Awesome. Okay, YouTube Life, have a wonderful day.